Hello, students. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, preparing for IITJ Men's 2024. In the upcoming year, uh, NTA, National Testing Agency, is going to conduct J E Men's twice. First session will be in January 24 and the next will be in April 24. Before appearing for these sessions, it is very important to understand JE exam pattern, competition you are supposed to face, eligibility, and score you need to have to crack this exam. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the insights of this exam. So let us start with the eligibility criteria. So this is the eligibility criteria for uh, JE Men's 2024. Pre-COVID, it was not mandatory to score 75% marks in board examination. But in upcoming exam, students are required to score at least 75% in their board examination. We are going to make video regarding strategies you need to follow to easily get 75% HSC board examination. You can let us know if you guys need such a video in comment section below. So students who are aiming for premier institutes such as IITs, NITs or based regional engineering colleges such as COEP should secure at least 75% marks in their 12th board. And yes, J is not only for IITs or NITs, but all regional government colleges have 20% quota, which is to be filled with JE mains exam. Next, let us understand the JE mains exam structure. As you guys might be aware of, there are three main sections in JE mains, physics, chemistry, and mathematics. Each section has 30 questions, out of which 25 questions are compulsory. From each section, 30 questions, 20 are multiple choice questions and 10 are numerical value answer questions. From 10 numerical value answer questions, student has liberty to answer any five. Each correct answer carries four marks, whereas each wrong answer is penalized by minus one mark. So out of total 90 questions, 75 questions are compulsory and total marks are 300. Now let us get a few glimpses about the competition you're supposed to face. Last year, considering both January and April session, around 11 lakh students appeared for the JE exam. Out of top 10 percentile were selected for next round, which is JE Advance. Now, JE Advance is not topic of discussion for this video. We'll discuss that later in maybe next video. As mentioned, out of appeared 11 lakh students, top 10 percentile students were selected for JE Advance. Table shown here depicts cutoffs for different categories. Considering the highest, which is for general category, 90.78 percentile, if we calculate the marks one need to score to crack JE mains, you will be surprised. One has to score only 80 to 90 marks out of 300 to crack JE mains. Now, that is only 30 percent. So if you go by these numbers, knowing the fact that each correct answer is awarded with four marks, student has to answer only 20 questions correctly in order to crack JE mains. Now, obviously, it is evident that toughness of the exam is such that it is difficult to score even 30%. Let us understand the strategy to score minimum 30% in JE Before getting into this target slide, students always ask me, is it compulsory to study whole syllabus to crack JE mains? Answer is big no. Another question students always ask me, can I leave whole chemistry and still score 90 percentile plus? Answer is yes, but you need to have very strong hold on physics and mathematics in that case. I would recommend not to skip any subject as a whole. Instead, you can skip topics which you feel difficult. Based on your interest, identify the chapters which you are comfortable with. Remember here, I'm talking about chapters from JE syllabus. If you don't have JE syllabus with you, link is in description, download that. Once you identify the chapters you're comfortable with, go through all 48 years of JE question patterns. It is true that no single question is ever repeated in JE, but there is a pattern which you will recognize when you go through previous year questions. Solving questions when you have your guide with you and appearing for actual exam are two different things. To simulate actual exam ambience appear for maximum number of mock tests. While appearing for mock test, try to attempt minimum 40 to 45 questions only. Make a habit to skip questions if it is tedious. Now, let us understand chapter-wise weightage of JE mains. 
So this is the chapter wise weightage as per J E mains 2023. Here you can get slight reference regarding importance and weightage of each chapter uh, in last J E. Remember that weightage changes slightly each year, but uh, one can refer these in order to decide which chapters to be targeted and which ones can be skipped. So based on this chart, you can identify your strong domain and target 45, 50 questions accordingly. Now points to remember. Few of the JE mains questions are always a trap where you feel like answering the question even though you are in dilemma. Remember to avoid guesswork and solve questions precisely. It is important to identify your 45 questions out of given 75 questions. Strictly avoid spending more than five minutes to any of the question. Ideally, you should spend three to four minutes on each question. If you calculate for three hours, there are 180 minutes. And if even if you target 45 minutes, you'll get only four minutes on each question. So to understand the time you're spending on each question and to be conscious about each second all the time, you need to go through a lot of mock tests. At least five, I would recommend, and practice sessions before actual J sessions. To make you understand how to identify those 45 questions, tricks to get answer in less than three minutes, JE question pattern, etc., we are going to conduct a crash course starting in November. So these are the details for JE Mains 2024 online offline registration for crash course is starting on 13th November. In this 60 days, daily three hours crash course registration is totally free. Link is in description. Finally, always try to study the exam before studying for the syllabus of exam. All the best and thank you.